Wow. <laughs> I was just completely zapped into another vortex. This, this is going to be powerful, you guys. Um, and I want to just welcome you for jumping on board. And I was talking about wearing the color red, um, especially for this live stream. And yet, you know, it is morning time. It's still morning here in Perth, WA. And however, when I think of the color red, I think of vibrancy, I think of passion, I think of fire, I, I think of fast, right? And yet it can also be a symbol of when we need to stop, right? Because when you need to stop at, you know, on the road in your car, you'll see a red light. So <laughs> it's a little bit of an oxymoron. And speaking of oxymorons, what I want to what I want to say to you guys is, did you know that your weakness quite often is actually your greatest strength? Okay. Did you know that your pain can quite often become your greatest gain? So as a leader and a world-class master trainer uh, of subconscious modalities who I also create my very, very own powerful modalities, out of some of the world-class modalities that I've placed together and I've blended and that help people to rapidly release trauma and stress and you know and and make a massive difference in their life i want to tell you today that one of the greatest things that i could train you i could give to a client and i could certainly coach many many other coaches in and that is in the art of mastering your life now i'm talking about mastering your life guys in as much as being able to master your body, you know, mastering your relationships, mastering your money, because whatever is not working in your life, it simply means you haven't mastered it yet. And yet, you know what, we tend to focus on what we are good at. And then as a result of focusing on that, we may become better at it However, sometimes we need to move away from what we are actually good at and look at what is actually holding us back. You know, are you waiting uh, to be ready before you perhaps go into your success or before you decide on, you know, jumping into the right job, the right relationship, the right body, having the right money? You know, if you wait until you're ready, you could be a very old person still waiting. In fact, the moment that you are given the door of opportunity to go forward in your life, that is the time when you are ready. That is the time when you need to master your own confidence, master your self-esteem, master your body, master your health and know that you can take control. And that is why I formulate so many powerful techniques in the program of which is the Awakened Leader. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share for you a short meditation. And it's just going to allow you to have a taste of what it's like to be able to go to another place and master your life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the mood and I'm going to change my screen. Now, do, 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 we have um, all my settings have changed. So I need to just work out. <laughs> just give me a moment, you guys. Maybe I should have practiced, but this is all part of, I guess, being able to um, master your life. So, and and look, I'm mastering this. I'm, I'm mastering being on this element where... I need to learn how to do this next part. So I'm going to change my virtual background. So are you ready to see some magic? If you're ready to see some magic, show me some hearts. Show me that you want the magic and I'm going to, voila, I'm going to magically move into a new setting. 
Now, are you ready? Now, because I am totally focused on what I'm about to do, I just realized I haven't got my magic chime. Can you hear this? <laughs> I'm using a pen. I'm using a pen. Okay, the magic pen. Now, speaking of magic pens, I'm going to ask you a vital question. If this was a magic pen, if this could change anything about your life, if you could change one element and master your life right now through this meditation, what would you change? What would be the very thing that would help you to get past where you are and to become the person you want to be? Now, when you hear this, I want you to know that that is a message to your subconscious mind that magic is about to happen. Voila! Ta -da! And it's a little bit mystical up here, but I want you to picture that you have floated up outside of where you are and you have floated right up, 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 so high and you are looking down at yourself. Now, as you float up, you leave your physical body. Now, whatever your physical body is feeling, whether you are feeling, you know, rushed or whether you're feeling overwhelmed or whether you're feeling unwell or even if you're feeling excited, happy or even at peace, I want you to just allow yourself to release yourself from your physical body and rise up. So as you rise up, just rise up and I want you to have a look at yourself in the room and just see yourself. And I want you to do an x-ray of your physical body. I want you to look down and do an x-ray. And as you're doing an x-ray, what you're doing is you're scanning your body and there is like a super conscious part of you that is scanning all the parts of your brain, your left part, your right part, you know, the serotonins, the dopamine. It's also doing a scan right through your muscles, your cells. It's looking to see where there is any negative stuck energy. Now, even if you are going through something physically, it's okay because physical ailments are actually just a symbol. They are a message to let you know that there is something that you need to shift. And it's usually in your physical uh, and your emotional and your spiritual collaboration of doing so. So just check and just see and just allow yourself to scan. And I want you to close your eyes as you're scanning. And with your eyes closed, I want you to picture that there is another part of yourself that is your higher self that is moving up above looking down on your unconscious self. Now you're looking at your unconscious or subconscious, whichever way you want to look at it, and you're looking from third party. So you're looking at that clever part of your brain that automates everything, that organises your nervous system, that organises your hormones, that organises the serotonins, that organises absolutely everything. And I want you to imagine that this is your higher self. This is the higher self that is not emotional at all. It is the like the governor. It is the mighty super self. And I want you to visualise that as you move up, I want you to just allow yourself to take a deep breath in. One, two, three, breathe in. And as you breathe in, I want you to breathe life in a moment down into your unconscious subconscious and breathe into your unconscious subconscious now. And as you breathe into your unconscious subconscious, that's breathing in to your physical body. So this allows you to be free of any overthinking or trying to work out what's going on in your physical realm because there is no way you can know every piece of trillion bits of information it's like the trillion stars here on the planet so I want you just to be in a blissful place of total faith that you can rely on yourself you can rely on your highest 
higher self. Now, as you are right above, you are right above looking down at your subconscious. Imagine that your subconscious is that genius part of you that is automatically creating all of the things, all of the natural abilities of you walking and talking and reading and writing and how you communicate and all your habits and all your patterns. It has collaborated your DNA. It is, it is the, you know, the genius of memory that has stored every single memory. But you're above it all, remember? You are above it. You are your highest, highest self. So as you are looking down on that genius, you're just... Hmm, you're in a very curious mode. It's like, hmm, okay. So now I'm going to get your higher self to rise even higher, even higher and just rise up and rise up away from all of the, the worldly, worldly issues, leaving behind, just seeing the world suddenly scale and change it's like your little world where you're positioned wherever you are suddenly becomes the size of one of the specks that are in the whole space of time where i am right now and i want you to imagine that that small speck that tiny little speck is you that you see that bright sparkle as being the one that you know that is the most important. Now, as you rise up higher and higher and higher and you see your subconscious and you know your subconscious has control over every memory and every part of you, it knows your patterns, it knows your thoughts, it knows all of those things and it's just the freedom part of you, you are in a place of total liberated freedom. Now, I want you to imagine that as you are rising up, it starts to become really fun. It starts to become really playful and you begin to move. You begin to move and float in space like you are so agile, so flexible, uh, is seamless. There is no beginning or no end. It's like space. It's spacious. This means now using your craft to actually create the imagination to just turn and float and completely move in this free, liberated way. And you feel that such playfulness, like it's like you are living out the most happiest moment of your life. And yet you can be a child, you can be any age, you can be a teenager and you can be any age because you are invincible. You are totally above the subconscious, the physical realm. And now you look across the whole planet and it's like there is no time. You're now outside of time and you are looking across and you see the whole planet. Now I want you to just allow yourself to a point. It's like you are a surgeon, a specialist, a professor, and you are going to appoint your power of intention to make a change to your subconscious from up above. And all as you are is you are you are simply light and love. You are simply experiencing anything you choose to. So I want you to experience the ideal age of your physical body if you had one. And I want you just to imagine that your, your imagination is now moving in that, you know, in that age, in that agelessness, in that timelessness. And I want you to imagine your strength. I want you to imagine your courage. I want you to imagine as you rise and rise and rise. And now I'm just going to ask that you be very comfortable and you allow yourself to relax all the way down. So your physical body is just sitting, being, or even laying where you are. And you are becoming physically relaxed as if, Suddenly something, somebody came along and just took away all the worries. 
someone came along and took away every single issue that you ever had. And it's like the subconscious is processing it all. However, you are above all of that. So the physical body has this amazing and phenomenal opportunity to relax deeper and deeper and deeper. And this is where you must ensure that you're in a safe space where you can be masterful, where you can be, you can just be and, and sense the, the space all around you, sense the space between where you are up above and the space between yourself and your subconscious. Sense the space between your subconscious and your physical body. Allow yourself to sense the space and just know that it's almost like you're in a divine place of awesomeness where you are the creatrix of your life, where you are about to create the future that you are going to call into the present. And so as you are allowing yourself to be up above floating, I want you to allow yourself to look upon the entire planet and look upon some of the wisest people that ever lived, even in history, even in the future. Even in the present, it doesn't matter whereabouts it is. This is just allowing you to tune in and understand who you would see as an ideal role model that has the ideal vibrational energy, that has the kind of frequency that exudes their body. Their body is a symbol that they are in the right frequency. Their relationships are a symbol. They're in the right relation, they're in the right mindset and frequency. Their money and their bank account are a symbol of their self-love and their fulfillment. And I want you to just float and know that you can find that person in time. And as you find that person, I want you to see them in all of your glory. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get you on the count of three to deep breathe in through to the subconscious, oxygenating all of the negativity that's in the subconscious, allowing all of the old patterns and negative feelings that you may have held and I want you to oxygenate through the subconscious so the subconscious is going to let them all go and so I want you just to look down and see your subconscious and notice the thing that you were battling with what was the pattern you were battling with what was it that you were really struggling what was your biggest struggle that just kept on coming back and playing back at you? So now as your higher self, in this professor, in this genius, in this zone, I want you to breathe in new life and give that life through the subconscious. However, I want you to look and understand that that pattern, that stuck energy played a part. It played a vital part. It had a higher purpose. It had a higher learning. And I want you to understand from way above all of those factors. And I want you to be the main authority of your own life and decree, decree into your life now. So as you decree, I want you to firstly just know exactly what you are going to be ridding of. It is one thing that you are going to be ridding yourself of and I want you to know what that is. Know what that is now and soon as you have that, make it really clear and get ready to decree it. So as you get ready, you acknowledge the pattern, the stuck energy, the problem, and I want you to call it. I want you to call it a name. You can call it for what it is and now state, I decree, I decree to dissolve, clear, and transmute this issue. I decree to dissolve it now. 
I decree, I decree, I decree. And as you decree it, just allow yourself to decree it and dissolve it. And now breathe in through your nose. And now breathe out through your mouth. Now watch that color and watch it move down, dropping down, dropping down, dropping all the way down, dropping all the way down so that you can see that color dropping down across your subconscious, moving through the subconscious and all the channels and all the emotions and all the uh, feelings that you had just watch it now just clearing out and as you clear it out as you let it go as you release it I want you to see your subconscious now clearing and I want you to take another deep breath so on the count of three one two three breathe in and breathe oxygen and just watch that going through, moving through, clearing, clearing and transmuting. And as you clear and you transmute it, just allow yourself to see the subconscious is now surrounded in golden light. And that golden light is moving down through the physical body, healing every part of you. And now I want you to look for your role model. And as you seek out into the universe for your role model, I want you to know that you are going to make an intention that you will be able to channel. And I'm going to show you how to channel that energy. I'm going to show you how to channel the energy of the role model so you can have the frequency. I'm also going to help you to raise the vibration and I'm going to show you in one short minute how you can master any area of your life one at a time and you can utilize it through this amazing powerful technique. However for right now I want you to take the time to take a deep breath in. That's right. And as you hold from above, I'm going to get you now to just breathe out and drop down, dropping down, dropping down into your subconscious, coming together with your subconscious so you feel the new clearance of this of this space and giving and allowing the subconscious to now be ready, willing and available to channel new powerful patterns and habits. And these powerful patterns and habits that you can easily, naturally and effortlessly channel are going to become your new vibration to be aligned with the person that you want to become. So who you want to become within your body, within your relationships, within your financial. So I want you to say after me, I am divine. I feel love. I accept love. I call in love. My life is important. I am blessed. Every cell of my body feels alive. Every cell of my body is now crystal clear. I am so fortunate and I attract all the right people. I let go of all the negative energy. I release it, I release it, I release it. And now I accept this new, clear, beautiful, divine, pure mindset. Take a deep breath in. And drop down, dropping down five and four and three and two and one. And just allow yourself now to come back to where you are and just allow your physical body to just move into your natural feeling of where you're positioned. And as you come back to the real world and I bring you back, I just want to say, how was that experience for you? I would love you to write down in the comments, what was your experience like? Now, I would like to let you know 
that the element of channeling and mastering your vibrational energy will be for the awakened leaders to we will be holding that and i'm not going to state a specific time because you will be notified and you do and you will have the modality the powerful modality and it is actually a one minute modality that once i teach you it's going to take me a little while to teach you because we're going to go through uh you know basically we're going to spend 45 minutes on the mastery of your life so this means that you'll be able to master with this technique your physical body you won't be able to do it all at once we're not a genius but it's it's actually so that you're given this gift and i've created this out of the most sophisticated high-end high priestess modalities that i have and i recommend it for anyone and everyone that wants to master their life because life happens guys and i know that i am constantly on my own voyage i'm constantly dealing with my own stuff i know that i went through a spiritual warfare over the weekend just to show you guys i was so wrung out i was so weak and you know my body was in such um a bad state i had to stay in bed for two days and what was the reason i wasn't sick although you would think that i was it was a spiritual ascension it's an empath it's what's going on in the world but even when there is really not much happening the way that it is at the moment you know life happens we have problems in relationships we can have problems with our money and believe you me if you have problems in your money if you do not have enough wealth and i have been there if you say i can't even afford you know, $97 to learn a technique or $500 or $2,000 or $5,000 to be, you know, to have a life where I am completely setting myself up. If you say that, you will always be broke. It is just the way that it is because you're, there is one thing that is of the highest value in the world and i'm about to tell you what that is and it's what i had to learn and it's what you need to learn now and that is you and so your mastery your ability to be able to not have a perfect life i'm not talking about having a perfect life i am talking about mastering mastering your life and then being able to give that gift to other people because without your love without you being full of yourself <laughs> and i'm going to state that being full of yourself suddenly takes on a whole new meaning especially when you learn what i'm about to impart to coaches and leaders and light workers and people that just want to be the light to the world you need to be full of yourself so if you've ever been told you're full of yourself just say damn straight i am full of myself i am full of self-love i am full of self-acceptance i am full of the spirit of power and passion and then say and because i'm full of myself i am about to give you some of that fulfillment what do you reckon guys so anyway i look forward to seeing you guys and teaching this powerful modality and this meditation of what you have here will be a part of th that and that whole part of that format is just going to be like this beautiful synchrony orchestra and i can't wait to share it so my name's terry messenger i i trust that you have enjoyed this sequence and i will be back and remember mwah, you are valuable peace